Camelot331 here, and I don't know about you, but I haven't eaten Arby's in a long time. All right, I haven't eaten Arby's in a long time, but recently I decided to change that. I went to an Arby's, I got me one of them like XL roast beefs. So it was like, you know, like my ex-wife, it was just, there was just so much hanging out and I was going ham as hell. It was like reminiscing on t times long past the stupid video and it was delicious. I'm gonna be honest, it was great. I was like, wow, I didn't expect Arby's to be so good. Like, cause last time I remember it smelled bad and it was awful. And you know, it, it raised my hopes for the future of the roast beef sandwich. But then all of a sudden this happens. And now I don't know what to think. I finally just wanted some roast beef and all you gave me was sad beef. I'm sad now because if you haven't read the title yet, there was a body found in the freezer at Arby's. A body, like a human body. Not like a rat, not like a squirrel. It was a human. Was it murder? We're gonna get into it right now. Before we do that though, make sure you like this goofy ass video. Make sure you share it. It's very, very important. I'm demonetized, demoralized, and sad as hell. And the roast beef wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. Follow me down below. Let's get into this nonsense. It says, investigator tells the news a body was found in New Iberia Arby's freezer. It was a woman manager. Death, likely an accident. But don't jump to conclusions yet. It says right here, a body was found in the walk-in freezer at Arby's in New Iberia. Was that of a woman who managed the fast food restaurant and her death appears to be an accident? The lead homicide investigator told news. The gruesome discovery happened Thursday evening during regular business hours at the Arby's location. Hot diggity damn. The victim's identity wasn't immediately released, citing ongoing investigation, but he confirmed the woman was the manager. While the police called the case a suspicious death, which is what I'm saying, you find a body in the freezer, bruh. Where do you put things, you know, that need warmth to survive? Well, your first thing you do is put them in the freezer, not in space, no. Freezer is the obvious solution to get rid of the loved ones. So that's a situation like this is very unusual, boys. So we're taking extra precautions during the investigation. Ooh. We pretty much have completed our process of the crime scene. After completely processing the crime scene, this does not seem like a homicide. It seems like an accident. But he cautioned that those findings were pre preliminary, adding nothing is set in stone yet as the death still remains under investigation. He indicated multiple employees of the fast food outlet were interviewed as part of the initial probe and some may be interviewed again. A coroner's vehicle arrived in the late hours of the night, took the body to the morgue for an autopsy that confirmed the victim's identity and cause of death. We're going to re-examine all the evidence tomorrow and they're going to conduct an autopsy to give us the cause and manner of death. So there are a few more steps that we need to take before a final determination is made. That's shocking as hell because I'm quite positive. Look, I don't know about you, but it's 2023. I'm quite positive that every single freezer has one of those unlock latches in the in inner door. If it does, not an accident, right? Obviously. It's us. I don't believe it. There's also a Facebook post about it. On Thursday, May 11th, the new Iberia Police Department received a report of a deceased person located in the freezer at the Arby's restaurant. Officers and Acadian ambulance were dispatched. Upon arrival, officers located a female inside the walk-in freezer showing no signs of life. The Iberia Parish Coroner's Office responded to the scene and pronounced the female deceased. The deceased female has been identified as an employee of the restaurant. The identity will not be released. This still is a matter of of investigation, although no foul play is suspected at this time, which is what you would say, you know what I'm saying? But I don't, I just don't, I, I feel like that's too cut and dry. It's too cut and dry for me. And now granted, if it's, if th there would be a lawsuit, right? Let, let's assume Arby's doesn't have the latch on the inside. Like if it closes behind you, it's the end, right? But I can't imagine that there wouldn't be a safety mechanism to prevent this from happening, right? Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe somebody was dumped there. I'm just putting this out there. It stinks to high heaven, kind of like how Arby's used to smell. Although it's good now for some reason. But maybe there's a giant conspiracy going on. Diane, well, comment down below what you think. Do you work in fast food restaurants, maybe industrial places, where freezers are? Correct me if I'm wrong, but there's got to be some kind of safety mechanism to prevent you getting locked in a freezer. But hot DD damn, that's awful. It's absolutely awful. And just after... My opinion of Arby's was increasing. It decreases again. Please share this video. Freaking insane stuff going on right now. Um, I'm demonetized as hell. Help me out. Give you boys some kisses on his face with a simple lock. Maybe message me and say my mustache is kind of cool. Until next time, get the hell on it, dog on it. Bye. 
yeah.